I'm gonna give you my five lures that I never go fishing without. Like I do a lot of kayaking, a lot of wade fishing. I go out on boats with people. Um, so I am changing what I fish for um, and how I fish all the time. Plus I go for small fish, um, ultralight, and then sometimes I'm bass fishing. Sometimes I'm wade fishing for bass. Sometimes I'm kayaking for bass. And other, you know, it's just, it's always changing. Um, how, and I like doing a lot of different types of fishing. But there's, there's probably five lures, and there may be more, but there's at least these five that I have laid out right here that, I'm, that I never go without. You could tell me, hey, we're going fishing tomorrow. I'm not going to tell you what we're going for or how we're going fishing or anything. And I'm like, great, I'm going to have these five lures in my bag. You could tell me I'm, you're, I'm going out for bass fishing and on a boat. I'm going to have these five lures with me. Um, you know, I'm going bluegill fishing. I'm going to have these five lures with me, almost maybe all of them just in case, uh, cause a couple of these are kind of for bass, but usually majority of the time, it's gonna be something involved bass fishing. So here we go. And as I get started, this is going to be an involving thing. And I think just a lot of people ought to have lures their confidence in and that they can use. And they're like, all right, you know, worst comes to worst. I know how to use these lures well, um, if something ain't working or if I'm, this is all lures I have with me or something like that. So here's my five lures and majority of these are for bass. So these are mainly for like bass fishing whether I'm kayaking on a boat or waiting, these are lures I'm gonna use. No surprise, if you watch a lot of my videos, Yum Dinger is gonna be one I'm gonna have. It's a, I love the four inch size. It's so versatile. I usually put it on a 1 16th ounce jig head. It drops slow. It's almost like a Ned Rig style. I can do it weightless. Um, you can wacky rig it. I can twitch it. I've caught fish twitching it like a jerk bait. It's just very versatile. Now, this is usually the color I'm gonna make sure I have, but I like to take two or three different colors um a darker color but just a yum dinger a four inch i like that four inch size i feel like it just it's very versatile i've caught six i've caught seven and a half pound largemouth six pound largemouth uh six inch largemouth so it'll catch like all size fish and smallmouth uh spots i don't know if i've caught shoal bass caught trout on it it catches a lot of catfish you know drum it catches a lot of stuff so that's that's one that's so versatile a lot of people are going to have a stick bait and uh probably with them all the time Second one, a Helgramite. Now, Yum's come out with their Helgramite, and it's a soft plastic that's softer. It's kind of the same material as like the Yum Dinger. Uh, Nico, I've been using theirs for a long time. They've come out with the uh, 4.25 inch. So they're changing it up on me. I used to always use the three inch. Now they come up with the bigger one. And then Yum's come out with theirs, and I like the softer ones for certain situations. So I'm putting those together. But one, of, I'm taking one of these. I'm, I'm not gonna go without a Helgramite uh and just i've learned how to use it uh, how to fish it i feel like it i can catch fish in a lot of situations where i don't know what other lure to throw in that situation where i'm like i know how a helgramite will work maybe it's in a current or in a drop off or, or like really clear water i just have a lot of trust in that so um you don't have to be this brand but i don't know there's i think all of them work i do like the way these new 4.25 i like the size of them now and they're just very durable um so the Helgramite is one I'm going to have. So these, these two are both finesse style lures, but I can fish them different ways. I'm going to have them with me. The third one is a spinnerbait. Um, I love a spinnerbait and I rarely ever don't have one just somehow in a bag or in my box or, or something. So I, I like a couple spinnerbait. These are the Covert series and they're, as you can tell, they're not giant size. They're kind of smaller. Um, I'm not sure what the weight are. Uh, both of them have a double colorado i like that orange on there um this one's more like just bluegill color um these are when you can cast them i can i can throw these on lighter rods a lot of times and i don't like usually when i fish spinnerbait i don't want to i'm not reeling it really fast so it, i wanted to kind of sit in the strike zone but also i like a lighter one because i fish a lot of shallow water so these these spinnerbaits kind of fit my way of fishing and I catch a lot of fish on spinnerbaits and it's very fun when they're hitting it, but that's always something I'm gonna see. All right, are they biting a spinnerbait? Are they biting something moving? Um, because if they are, you can you can throw these things everywhere. Um, and especially these kind of, you know, they move a little bit slower through the water. So like if I hit a bank and I wanted to kind of stay on that bank for just a little while or just over a log for a little while, I kind of slow it down, but spinnerbait. And like, these are the Booyah Covert series. So you, there's a lot of different ones, but spinnerbait, everybody knows spinnerbait works. So that's just my third lure. Fourth one, 
is usually going to be a little Bobby Garland or something small. These are just the, the baby, the baby shad Bobby Garlands. It may not be a Bobby Garland, but I want something small, um, just to have in case I get to a situation where there's a bunch of bluegill, maybe I come across something, a white bass or some crappie and you know, you're like, I want to catch those fish, but I wasn't playing on it. I can I put this on one sixteenth ounce jig head and I could throw it on a bass rod. Um, I've done that tons of times and I've been places where I'm, you know, I'm like, I, I, I want to downsize and go try to catch those fish. So I, I like to be able to be versatile and be able to have these with me. So something small, some kind of small little crappie lure or bluegill lure. Uh, a Bobby Garland is great. You know, maybe one of a couple colors, but at least, at least a pack of them and maybe some like one sixteenth ounce jig heads. So that's number four, just like a smaller, smaller presentation uh, for targeting like sunfish or just different different fish all right for this fifth one it may kind of change over time um i love a rebel crawl i used to always go every i always always have one with me and i usually still do i love a little crankbait some just to have um for mixing things up uh a couple different things like that but i'd say what i like to have is just a small swim bait these are the Yum Pulse ones. They're three and a half inch, and I'm maybe like I like to get like a three inch one or two and a half to three and a half inch in that size. Um, it's very versatile. You can fish them as a Ned rig. Um, you can fish it as a swim bait. Fish it as a trail. I got a spinner bait actually in here with them. Um, maybe it's a trailer for your spinner bait or chatter bait, uh, or maybe you put it on a jig. It's like there's a lot you can do with just a three inch, three and a half inch swim bait and it's a very versatile lure and I, I this is probably my fifth one you know it might change a few times but majority majority of the time 90, 90 percent of the time anywhere i go i'm having all five of these with me i'm gonna have them in my bag or in my in my, some kind of crate or whatever I, in, in my kayak definitely if i'm kayaking i'm having these if i'm waiting i'm usually having these i, I don't know how many times i've been out waiting and um like i thought i was going to use the helgramite or i thought i was going to use a yum dinger and then Maybe I, maybe I try a little crankbait and it starts catching them. Uh, I've done that sometimes, oh, but a lot of times, I'll, you know, it's like, you know what? I brought one spinnerbait with me because I didn't want to, you know, have a lot of weight and maybe it's hard, hard. Sometimes these are hard to carry around. I'll bring that spinnerbait and it makes a difference where I'm catching a ton of fish. You're like, you know, just have that little bit of change up. These are all very versatile lures and they're five versatile lures that I feel like can catch fish about anywhere. These little swim baits I've caught um, kayaking in, in uh, saltwater or brackish water. I've caught snook on them. And um, I think speckled trout, like these kind of these lures that you can just catch a lot of different fish on them. But mainly, mainly they're for bass, but they're very versatile and can use for a lot of ways. That's it. That's my five lures I'm having. Maybe if you got one that I need to have with me, I'd love to hear it. You got suggestions? Say hey, don't forget to have this one. Bring this with you everywhere you go. Of course, everything that I take is based off how I fish and where I fish. Um, so it's going to depend on. So I'm not saying these are what you have to have, but I think these are good suggestions and maybe lures that you need to use. And if you have other lures that you're like, oh, I can't go anywhere without a jerkbait. Me, I'm not a jerkbait guy. I'm not confident with it. Maybe in a couple of years, it'll be the lure. I, I got guys that don't go anywhere without a jerkbait. Uh, maybe yours is like a bigger swim bait or something like that. So you, you pick out yours, but make sure you, I like to like downsize when I'm going out kayaking or, or wading or something. Just take the ones that you know you're going to use and you know that work, that you have confidence in. And then that way you're not bombarded with so many lures and so many choices. Thanks for watching.